Where's your bed, Ali? Here we go, chapter six, lesson one, Sigma Notation. Now this is the first lesson in the sequences and series chapter. Woo, great title, why thanks. But the question on everybody's mind is, sequences and series, what is the difference between a sequence and a series? Now if I asked you to give me a sequence, I'm sure you could do that, no problem. It's a list of numbers in a definite order. Really, their numbers are following a pattern. A series is just the sum of the terms of a sequence. So if your sequence is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on, the series would be each of those terms added together. However, it sometimes takes quite a bit of time to write it all out like this. So we need a quick way of doing that. And what we use is this. It is one of the letters of the Greek alphabet. Mary Lou, which one is it? Perfect, it is sigma. And it is used in maths as a way of writing the sum of terms that follow a pattern. What you do then is you write down sigma and you're gonna have some function. We've just got f of k. What's gonna happen is we're gonna have some starting value. We're gonna have k equals a and we're gonna sub whatever a is into that function. We will then have one above that. So k would equal a plus one, and we'd sub in a plus one into that function. Then we would sub in the number after that, so it'd be a plus two, all the way up to this number at the top. If this number was b, we'd be going to up to f of b. And a and b are gonna be integers, such that a is always going to be less than b. Let me explain a bit better with some examples. So, example one, write one plus two plus three plus four plus blah, 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 plus 20 using sigma notation. So you can see from this, we are, have a series and we are wanting to get the sum of that. We want another way of writing it. So what we do is we use sigma, woo! And you can see that what we're doing is we just have one. That is our starting value. So we're going to have k equals one. What we're doing with that number is, well, we're doing nothing to it. We're just keeping it as one. So whatever the value of k is, we keep it as k. So we have k. And what we're doing is we're starting off with k as one, then we're gonna have k as two, then we're gonna have k as three and so on, all the way up to k as 20, good. So the number at the top here is going to be 20. So this means we're starting just with k, we replace k with one, then we replace it with two, then three, all the way up to 20. So that is it written using sigma notation. Example two, write one squared plus two squared plus three squared plus blah, 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 up to n squared using sigma notation. So another series. So if we are wanting to write that using sigma notation, we know we're gonna bring in sigma. What we're doing is we have one and we're squaring it. So we're gonna start with k as one. What happens when you sub one in? Well, you square it. So you take whatever k is and you square it. So it's going to be the sum of k squared. So we're subbing in one, we're squaring that, then we're subbing in two, then three, then four, all the way up to n. So at the top here, the last value that we'd sub in would be n. So that would be it written using sigma notation. Example three, evaluate the sum of 2k plus one going from k equals one up to n. So to start this off, we know that we're going to sub in one in here. So we're gonna have two times one plus one. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sub in the next value after that. So above one, we've got two. So we're gonna have two times two plus one. Then what are we doing? Well, we're gonna then sub in the value after that, which is three. So we're gonna have two times three plus one. Notice how if you sub in three, well, that's what you're going to. You're starting with one, you're going to three, so we can stop, dun, 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 and then you could start to work that out. Two times one plus one gives you three. Two times two plus one is five. Two times three is six, add one is seven. So therefore, your answer is going to be 15. Woo! Example four, evaluate negative two to the power of k, going from k equals zero all the way up to four. So what are we doing with this? Well, we're starting with negative two and we have it to the power of k. We're starting with k is zero, so we have negative two to the power of zero. 
We're then going to add on, well, what we get when we sub in the next value of k. So after zero, we've got one. So it's negative two to the power of one. After that, you'd have negative two to the power of two, then negative two to the power of three. How far do we go? Well, we go up to four. So we have negative two to the power of four. And then we stop. Bum, bum, bum. What we then do is we work this out. Remember, anything to the power of zero is one. Negative two to the power of one is negative two. You're adding negative two, so that's just taking away two. Negative two is squared. Negative two times negative two is four. Negative two cubed would be negative eight. And then negative two to the power of four is 16. Work that out and it gives you the answer of 11. Example five, evaluate. The sum of 3k squared take away 7 going from k equals 2 up to 5. So to do this, well, you're starting off with k as 2, so you replace k with 2. So you'll have 3 times 2 squared take away 7. Then what do you do? Well, you sub in the value after 2. So after 2, you've got 3. So you have 3 times 3 squared take away 7. Then you sub in the value after 3, so that's 4. So you have 3 times 4 squared, take away 7. Then the value after that, so it'll be 3 times 5 squared, take away 7. If you start to work that out, this will give you 5, this will give you 20, this is 41 and this is 68. Remember, it's the series, we're adding the terms together, so it gives us 134 as our answer. Example six, evaluate the sum of 2k plus five, bracket k take away three, starting with k as negative one and going up to two. So what's the first thing that we do, Max? Perfect, we want to sub negative one in here. So we will end up with two times negative one plus five. Then we're multiplying that by k take away three, so it'll be negative one take away three. Then we're adding on, well after negative one, working our way up to two, you'd have zero. So it's two times zero plus five, and then zero take away three. Then we're adding on, and after zero we'd have one, so it'll be two times one plus five. And then one take away three. And then we finally finish off with two. So you'd have two times two plus five, and then two take away three. If you start to work that out, well this bracket here will give you three. You're multiplying that by negative four. This bracket will give you five, you're multiplying that by negative three, and so on. Multiply out the brackets, so three times negative four will give us negative 12. We will be taking away 15, then take away 14, then take away nine, and that gives us an answer of bam, 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 negative 50, yeah. Give these questions a shot. Just getting used to sigma notation to write and evaluate a series. Best of luck, have fun, page 11 in the booklet. Woo!